My background was earthquake engineering, uh, soil-induced liquefaction, and I used to develop a lot of numerical models for that, which gave me uh, a lot of interest in soil dynamics and earthquake and seismic loading. So I then started to look about how that skill set could be used in other areas where cyclic and dynamic loading was involved, and that led me naturally onto railways and onto the interaction between the train and the track and looking at uh, the ground vibrations developed from railways. And so we started to look at the addition of polyurethanes to railway track, which then involved the polymer company, which was Hyperlast Limited. And so the idea of Zytrack was born. The polymer, with it being a viscoelastic system and with it being a polyurethane, means that you can design it. You can modify its properties, you can have it low stiffness, you can have it high stiffness and you can control the rate, the rate at which it cures, its reaction time. The idea then to apply the polyurethane to the ballast structure, to stabilise the ballast structure, was developed here at Herrick Watt University. Uh, we tested it, we did some formal trials within just small pieces of equipment that we had, and we could show very clearly that the polymer significantly increased the strength and also the resiliency. I was introduced to Peter Woodward and uh, the Zytrack solution approximately 12 years ago when we were looking into how to improve maintenance, reduce the amount of access needed for maintenance and keep the cost of maintenance down. And uh, Peter had already had some successful deployment on the West Coast Main Line and we saw the potential and uh, looked to work with Peter to use our knowledge of what was needed and how it might be applied to make the product and the idea work on the operational railway. This actually uses the existing ballast and adds to it uh, strength and stability. So in terms of approval, it's fundamentally a good, a good way forward. It's actually quite sophisticated and enables both the compressive and tensile forces in the track to be managed in a way that it's never been able to be done before. You can prepare the track, apply the polymer, 15 minutes later you can drive construction traffic over it. So this rolling program means it's very, very quick to install. We were able to increase uh, the speed of deployment about threefold by this investment in the pumping and application system and make it more consistent and of a higher quality than had been previously achieved. High speed, of course, is one of those areas which is of most interest, not only to academia and to the industry, but also to the public. So the software we're developing, Dart3D, is dynamic analysis of railway track, three dimensions. So it's a numerical program that is capable of modeling the whole train track interaction system. The challenge in the rail industry in particular is being able to prove these technologies. And really that's leading on to systems like Graft, the GRAF facility is the largest railway test rig in the UK and one of the largest in Europe as a whole. Our experience uh, of academia and various forms of research is that some of it can be, although good, can be too far out in the future and we need to be looking at the type of research that's going to deliver benefits within a five to ten year horizon and Harriet Watt have achieved this with the work that's been done uh, by Peter and his team in the fact that we've been able to within a relatively short time scale apply it on the live railway to great success. This shows the leading technological advantage that we're developing at Harriet Watt being able to look at the numerical modelling combined with the experimental modelling combined with working with companies like Balfour Beatty uh, one of the largest railway contractors in the world, to actually develop the products, test them, and then take them out into the real world. And as with Zytrack, Zytrack has been applied right across the UK and now internationally.